from The Real Project by Joey Tai is going to be this Yuya Hashizume figure, also illustrated by Yuya Hashizume. It was the network exclusive version of this figure. It was all brand new to me. I loved the design and concept of the figure. I think it's very moody, very unique, and it's a blue colorway, which is right up my alley. So I went ahead and grabbed it. As with all the network stuff from the unbox event, and I hear in general, it took a few months to get here, but it's going to be well worth the wait. That's so funny, all the packaging paper is on top and then the figure's just laying on the bottom against the box. There we have it, right here. I'm very excited to open it up. It was a limited run of 150 pieces, and it's crazy that it just sat on the store for most of the weekend. It did not fly, but now people are reselling it for a crazy amount of money, and I was just so happy to be able to get it. Giant bag and header card. It says produced by Intercept. I've never heard of that company. But yeah, network exclusive for the period real project. And you can see the figure and it comes with the guitar. It's interesting, the header card is actually like a, it feels like recycled paper. Oh, that's so cool. So two bags. Let's take a look at Yuya first. And this is one of those things, it was really hard to understand how big it was going to be for me. I kind of struggle with that when I just see measurements and centimeters. Um, but it is a decent size, she is quite tall. And that blue is perfect. And of course, the awesome headphones looking off to the side, single tear coming down the cheek. Full on moody vibes. And I like the individual wrinkles in the clothing, how they kind of form where you would expect them to, to give it a little bit of realism, even though it has that very cartoonish vibe. And you can see it has the network logo on there. Eh. You can see the stitching on the pants. That's really cool. And then of course, down at the feet, the jeans are kind of rolling, bunched up over the shoes. It's definitely a Sofubi style piece. It has that very soft feel to it which is really slick. And hey, look at that. You actually get the signature and addition number right on the bottom of the feet, which is cool. The strap of the helmet all the way across. It's a very, very interesting figure for me. It is simple, but quite moody at the same time. Like this extra little hair right here that has that extra part sticking off. It just adds to the whole vibe of the figure. You can barely tell there's that one little tear right next to the molar, the freckle on the side of the face as well. Very, very cool. So let's get the guitar opened up. There you have it, there's the guitar. Musical notes drawn across the front. The pegs have a metallic silver finish to them. And this excellent strap hanging off to the side. Feels like a leather perhaps fake leather, and it's screwed. Hopefully you can see that right there. It has a screw going into the top and into the bottom. It looks like it has a, a front board there too. And then in the back, the real project. So you get kind of a, a, an extra color on the front for the musical notes that are actually in the mold of the guitar. So they kind of dip in a little bit. Strings are painted on as well. A couple of minor imperfections with some of the paint maybe, but overall very, very cool and it should go across her nicely. And it's kind of funny because it, it's made to strap across the back, but it looks like kind of awkward here, right? So the pictures mostly show it going under the hand right here, which I'm trying to figure out exactly how that would work. Yeah, you could probably tuck it slightly under there, but it's not going to go all the way under the arm like you'd expect. Let's see if this will actually work. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna have to tinker with that. I don't know if it could actually go all the way around the back. Maybe it's just a shorter strap or something. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. I figured that out. It's gonna drive me crazy. See, because it's not gonna be able to rest right on her shoulder because her hair's in the way too. Like if it went on this shoulder, it would probably work a little bit better. So yeah, that is it. That is the Yaya Hashizume by Joey Tai and the real project and a network exclusive from the Unbox event. Let's go ahead and give her a spin. Thanks for watching.